I'm sick of hearing about the Iranian missile program. I'm more worried about Israel's. They've actually attacked countries in the Middle East. To the sound of Star Wars style music, Iranian TV showed its new rocket being wheeled out to the launch pad. Its cargo included some worms, two turtles and a mouse. President Ahmadinejad and his top advisers watched a live feed of the launch. There were jubilant shouts as the rocket took off. TV later showed pictures from cameras mounted on the rocket itself. The precise purpose of the rocket, named the Kavoshgar or Explorer 3, wasn't made clear. But the launch came as Iran also unveiled a new satellite booster rocket, the Simorg or Phoenix. Ahmadinejad looked on as a scientist kissed a copy of the Quran, then revealed the booster rocket, setting off religious chanting from the audience. This is all part of an ambitious space program that's worrying the West because it fears the technology could help Iran deliver nuclear warheads. But Tehran says it's just for space research. A message reinforced in a TV interview in which the president signaled he was ready to accept a UN demand that Iran's uranium stocks be enriched abroad instead of in Iran itself. There's no problem, he said, with Iran handing over its uranium and getting it back enriched by 20% several months later in the form of refined fuel rods. That's enough for nuclear power, but not for nuclear weapons. But experts say it's too early to tell if this marks a real change in Iranian policy. Martin Benedict, The Associated Press.